Oh, it is a beautiful day. Look behind me. The water is flat. There is no wind in the sky. And we have got the little baby over here. We need to come up with a name for the boat. If you guys want, comment down below some names for the boat. But right now, we are about to head out. We've got Maverick waiting in the car. Maverick, where are you? Oh my goodness, are you ready to go on the boat? Are you ready? Today it is a cold morning as you can see with my jacket on. It's actually kind of warming up with this sun, but we are going to try to see if we can find some green iguanas of all sorts of sizes. Little ones, big ones, they're all over these canals and we should be able to see some. Sadly, with the cold weather we're experiencing in South Florida right now, we do have a lot of freezing iguanas. We'll explain more when we get on the water. Let's drop the boat in now. like that we are in the water the engines a little bit loud so bear with me we're gonna try to work around it but we are doing our first video on the water today very exciting Maverick are you excited Maverick is going to come on basically all of our water adventures we have some crystal clear water here in the bay hopefully we can find some beautiful iguanas I forgot to mention when we shot that last clip that I did go through a bit of an outfit change. It was getting a little bit warm, so I took off the jacket. Hopefully, these iguanas are warming up as well. Out here in the mangroves, these iguanas will be hanging over the water. The cold temperatures come in our winter time down here, and the iguanas literally freeze. They have no body energy to move. They'll fall off of the branches into the water, and a lot of times they ultimately die or drown, and it's a really sad predicament that these guys are in. If you guys didn't know, the iguanas are from South America. They're not from here. They're not supposed to get this cold, and they're a reptile. They're cold-blooded. Right, Maverick? You're warm-blooded because you're a mammal, but these reptiles, just like the invasive pythons and our native wildlife here, they can't regulate their body temperature themselves. They have to go by the sun's energy and the temperature that is around them. So we're trying to see if there's any iguanas in need of help over here, but they are an invasive species, so the cold kind of is taking care of a population that really shouldn't be here. We're turning around now, we see a bunch of juvenile iguanas, not tiny babies, but probably yearlings, and uh, they're all dark colored. They are warming up this morning, trying to get that sun out on the end of the branches. We're gonna just see how close we can get. Maybe we'll be able to get our hands on one and give you guys a closer look. Are you able to put it in reverse? Put it in reverse. We're good there. Maverick, we almost had him. He was too quick. They've already started to warm up with the sun, so that is a good thing, you know. These animals are invasive, like I said. Their population is taking over this area, so they're really not supposed to be here. But any animal suffering is not a good thing. So it's really tough to see the situation that these guys are put in, but I think there's more up here. So we tried catching the iguanas from the boat, but it just didn't work out. We didn't really see too many, and when we tried to catch them, they evaded us. They were already pretty warmed up from the sun, which is a good thing. Again, we don't want these iguanas to suffer out here. They don't belong here, but they're really just born in this bad spot, and we're at another spot tonight where I think we could get on some, and we've actually found our first lizard here. We have a lizard right up here. There we go. Oh, you are cold. You are super cold. We're wearing our hoodies tonight, but these lizards can't put on a hoodie. You need a hoodie? You need a hoodie, little girl. Oh my goodness. You are gorgeous. This is the brown basilisk from South America. You guys might have seen them on the channel in different episodes here before, but you are just a gorgeous girl, and she's really cold, just like the iguanas and the other reptiles down here. These lizards are all cold-blooded and they are just kind of 
pushing through this cold temperature, this cold weather that we're having down here. I'm really sorry, girl. Usually she'd be squirming all about. She's a little freaked out, but I think it's because she's cold that we don't have her going all crazy. She does have her mouth open saying, I'll bite you. If you get close to me, I will crunch you. And these little guys do have a good bite on them, but let's see if we can find a green iguana. So what we're doing now, as you guys have seen before, is we're actually looking up at this hedge line, trying to find these iguanas. What they'll do is they'll sleep on the ends of these branches here, and if any predators start coming up the branch, they'll feel it shaking, can jump off, and can quickly get away from the situation outrun the predator and that's why, or part of the reason, why they've done so well and thriving down here in South Florida. But this cold does really take a toll on them and I think we have one right, oh my gosh, it's a chameleon right here. We have a beautiful veiled chameleon. Look at this, come here Sean, look right there. Oh man, it's kind of bright. He's sleeping here on this branch and Although he is pretty slow moving, we do have to be quick because if he wakes up, we could miss the opportunity on him. Let's see here. Grab this branch here. Look at this guy. Now that we've got our tree coming down, he basically can't get away because he's so slow. Oh, there he is. Look at this. Pull this this way. Wow. Check that out a juvenile male veiled chameleon, and we're just gonna go like this. It's okay, buddy. Oh, he is so cold. It's okay, it's okay. It's all right, buddy. It's okay. You're okay, you're okay. He's not really trying to run away. He doesn't have much energy to do so. These guys, oh, he almost just fell off of me. It's okay. There he goes. Now he's getting the energy. Even though it's so cold, this guy is able to actually hold on to the branches better than the iguanas can because of his little tail right here. And his tail in particular is actually a little bit hurt. You can see it's kind of kinked up. He's got this little notch taken out of it and it doesn't work as well as another chameleon's would had it not been injured. But basically what he'll do is he'll wrap that tail up. You see how it's curled up there? He'll wrap that around the branch and it acts like a fifth leg, an anchor point to hold on to these thin branches. So when these guys, these iguanas and other lizards get really cold, they're basically laying on the branch. The wind blows them around from the cold fronts pushing through. They fall onto the concrete, onto the water, and then they sadly pass away. But these guys are able to grip on with their feet. You can see the way he's using his little tiny hands. Look at those little tiny hands there. He can grip onto these branches, hold on with that tail anchor, and really lock on just like this, holding on through the cold until the morning sun comes and he'll be moving again in the warmth, at least the little bit of warmth that he gets. Oh, sorry little guy, so cool. I think we have a baby iguana in here. We see a little green lizard. Oh, I don't think it's an iguana. Come back here with me. Come on, come on. Let's go into the forest. Let's go into the wilderness. Oh, he's right there. Look at that big, beautiful night and all. It's my headlight. My headlight is on. You be real careful, Lack. Let's see if I can reach it. Bigger part of it. There we go. Oh, he's awake. He's awake. Are you a freezing cold lizard? We don't mean to bite you. We don't mean to hurt you. Oh, there he goes. He's right there. Right there on the tree. Oh, oh, oh. hold on. Hold on, let me get him. Oh! Got him. Phew! Got him, man. I'm trying Oops. to get back up. We got him up here. Oh, turn off the headlight. I don't want to blind you guys. Whew. Well, I didn't think I had to move so quickly. I thought he'd be a little bit colder. But it seems, even with these temperatures, 
he is moving quite fast. You know what, Sean? I'm gonna hand this to you. Okay. Just don't let him get you. Get up a little tighter on the neck. There we go. All right, now we're gonna come down. Just like that. Here we go. Beautiful lizard. Another invasive species. All three of the lizards that we've caught so far are invasive. We are just a cesspool of invasive species down here in South Florida. This is the Cuban night anole. Beautiful head markings on this guy. Just a crazy dinosaur looking lizard. And so unique, they have these sticky pads on their feet, but they also have a little claw on the end behind it. This mouth here is wide open and this guy's saying, don't come next to me because these teeth will sink right into you. Beautiful dewlap here, this bright pink color. I loved catching these as a kid and so cool to find one and share it with you guys tonight, but we still haven't found our iguana. Now we're at the point where this lake starts behind this ridge here and this is an area that the iguanas really like to hang out so I think we might see one up here. The thing is, they love the water, but they also like the tree line. Oh, Sean, there's a big one here. We've got a nice iguana right here. But he's awake and he's watching us and I think he's gonna dip down into the water. She's down over here. Look at this. She's jumped off the branch, but she can't get away. She can't get away quick. Let's get her now. Oh, she is so cold. You are freezing, girl, but you're beautiful. You're gorgeous. Look at those colors. She's not so big. I thought she was a little bit bigger. We are in the swamp here. I didn't want Sean to have to come all the way down here with me. Oop. Something's biting me on my leg, some sort of water bug. Let's get out of here. Coming back up this ridge here, you can see where she dove in off her tree. Honestly, this one is young, but it could even be pregnant. She is so chubby right now. Oh, oh, oh. Gotta climb up here with basically no hands. Army crawl, oh. Whew. I think I, I think I was built for the Olympics. Comment down below what you guys think, but gorgeous iguana. She is alert now like she took a cold shower. Just like us hopping in. Oh, 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 you're poking me. These guys are vegetarians, typically, but she still will take a chunk out of me if she was to bite me. Beautiful coloration on her back. They start out lime green when they're babies, and they look like this guy just above me here. That's what they all start out looking like, and then the males can even turn this big, dark orange, or bright orange color, rather. But check this gorgeous girl out. It's a really sad situation for all these lizards out here, guys. Comment down below a little prayer for these iguanas and these chameleons, basilisks, anoles, and all of the reptiles down here. Although they are invasive, yes, they do not belong here. But it's a really tough situation to say who deserves to stay and who deserves to go and and the problem is they're not just going, they're suffering. And it's just so sad to see with a creature this beautiful who really was only brought here by humans. This is why this animal has ended up in South Florida and I'm so glad we were able to see one and the other animals we've seen tonight. Guys, comment down below what you guys wanna see next on the channel and I will see you in the next adventure. Peace.